Hey everybody, Jeff with Encore Coatings here. Uh, today is May 6th, 2020. Uh, thanks for watching as always. Uh, today I want to talk about paints, uh, all different types of paints. You know, you, and this is uh, in regards to the cool pull deck system and what paints you need to add to that product or maybe paints you want to avoid. There's a lot of, uh, you know, paints you can add to our product and, and that's one of the best parts, best features about our, our cool pull deck product is that you can have any color you want so um, I mean there's just thousands to pick from right when you go into your local paint store if you've watched some old videos um, or seen some old literature on our website you might see that we uh, used to say absolutely do not use a paint and primer in one paint uh, and that's half true at this point it's half true uh, some of those paints will negatively affect the cool and turn it into cookie dough before you can even roll it out on the concrete. So uh, for you to be a happy camper, we want you to stick with our recommended paints. And uh, I, we got this chart here that we put on our website, okay, just to help you out. I'm gonna run through that really quick for you guys. First one, and you can find this chart at EncoreCoatings.com. Uh, first paint, uh, I've been recommending this paint for a long time. You know, I'm a, <clears throat> I guess I'm a Sherwin-Williams guy. Um, <clears throat> there's a paint there called A100. A is an Alpha 100. Comes in a satin finish that I love. Uh, satin finish is great. A100 um, is a contractor grade paint. Does not have a primer in it. I believe it's 100% acrylic. Um, you know, affordable stuff. Works great with our product. Been recommending it a long time. Uh, next one, PPG. Great company. Great paint. Uh, Acura Pro 100. It's kind of in the same family as the A100. You know, contractor grade paint. Pretty affordable. Works great with our product. No primer. So, safe bet there. Um, Home Depot. Home Depot, uh, our product is available on homedepot.com. So, if you buy your paint there from Home Depot, uh, the Bear Ultra is a great paint. Uh, however, it does have a primer in it. So, that's, this is one of those exceptions where, you know, a paint and primer in one paint works fantastic with our product. You know, the Bear Ultra, if I could say one thing about the Bear Ultra, the workability of our product with that paint in there is great. You know, the, the flow of our product, it flows into the pores of, of the surface really well. It's just a nice paint. You get a, a great finish with that. Uh, Lowe's, uh, our product is also available on Lowe's.com. If you buy your paint at Lowe's, here's what you need to know. Uh, the only paint there that does not have a primer in it is called Storm Coat, and it's also the cheapest paint there. Don't use that, okay? It, it, this is one of those anomalies where a paint and primer in one paint works better than one without a primer. So again, do not use the storm coat. We'd rather see you go with the Valspar Season Flex exterior. Okay, that does have a primer in it. Um, it's uh, it, it it tends to you know it, it seems like it has a self leveling effect to it, um, but it works great with our product. Uh, next one, last but not least, True Value. Uh, I got sent a gallon of paint of what was called Painter Select. Painter Select uh, is an interior and exterior paint. I tried a semi-gloss and it just worked beautiful. I love that paint. Uh, True Value sent that to me to test out. Absolutely loved it. Um, uh, actually tried out a bright yellow color and the, the, the color was true. You know, it just worked great with our product. So Painter Select, interior and exterior paint from True Value. So, guys, this uh, again, this chart is available on EncoreCoatings.com. Uh, today is May 6, 2020. So, if you're watching this a year from now, uh, check out that chart. We're going to continue to update it, um, so on and so forth. Uh, guys, another common question I have in, in regards to paint. Again, you're going to walk into your paint store, and sometimes it's overwhelming uh, to choose from, you know, thousands of these colors. I have a Sherwin Williams fan deck here. These are hard to get nowadays, but um, I have one here. Okay, so let's just say you walk into Sherman Williams or, or wherever and you're looking at paint and uh, let's just go with this uh, this color here. Let's just say you're shooting for this color here. It's called it's called Tumbling Tumbleweed. Okay, so let's if you want Tumbling Tumbleweed, um, a lot of people ask me, hey, it, once I add this Tumbling Tumbleweed uh, to your product, is it going to lighten up the color? You know, may, am I going to end up with dirty martini? You know, um, so we found that the color matches pretty, 
pretty spot on. You know, I'd say on average it's like 95% of, of what you're shooting for. Some colors though, very dark colors and very light colors, we've found that the product can in fact lighten it up a little bit. Okay, so look at your paint chart in the store. If this is if you're shooting for if you want tumbling tumbleweed um, and you're looking at that paint chart and you're like, man, if the cool lightens it up to dirty martini, it, can I live with that? Am I going to be able to live with that? If you cannot live with that, you might want to go down here and get your paint, uh, this sawgrass basket. Okay, just go one darker, considering that you might end up at tumbling tumbleweed. Okay, uh, another thing you can do is just buy the tumbling tumbleweed and ask the paint person at the counter, say, hey, can you increase the tint formula on this, on this paint like 15%? That, that'd be a great idea too. So just some tips there, guys. Um, you know, you want to choose something that, you know, if you're in Phoenix or Dallas, Texas, or here in Atlanta, you want, you, you don't, it gets hot here. So you don't, you don't want to apply a chocolate brown or a dark gray if heat reduction is a priority to you, okay? Most people stick with the light pastel colors. You know, if you're in Phoenix in the desert, you want to accentuate your surrounding environment, those desert earth tones. So I'd go with, you know, a khaki sand color brown you know not too dark uh here in atlanta you know the, the trend seems to be a lot of shades of light grays off whites um and while we're on that subject of white you know a lot of people I, I, not a lot of people but i've had some people say i want to do my deck bright white just pure white and uh, i i'd advise against that because it's going to show every speck of dirt it's going to be bright when you walk out there's going to be really bright so uh don't do white don't do dark gray or chocolate brown. You know, anywhere in the middle is going to be fine. Okay. And guys, switching gears here, I just want to, you're not going to find this little tip in any other video, I don't believe, but um, I just want to go into detail here uh, of your cleaning phase. The first step of this process is applying Triple Crown. It's our cleaner that will prepare and clean the surface prior to application. You spray the Triple Crown out, you let it dry, and then you pressure wash it away. Don't do this the evening before your application because the, the water is not going to, the moisture in the slab is not going to have time to evaporate by the time you get out there the next morning and apply your first coat of cool. Okay, so I would do your prep before lunchtime the day before application. So you get out there, spray your triple crown on, and hopefully you're pressure washing that away before lunch. That way, lunchtime comes around, you're done pressure washing. The hottest part of the day is coming, and it's going to evaporate all that moisture out. So therefore, by the time you get out there the next morning to apply your first coat of cool, you're not slapping a thick coat of cool on top of a wet surface and trapping moisture in there, okay, which could cause problems. So, you know, usually 24 hours after pressure washing, you're good to go, okay? Um, just wanted to get that out of the way, guys. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. I know I can talk and talk and talk, but uh, just want to clear that up because I, I, this paint chart... This paint chart here is the most current, up-to-date resource you could possibly refer to for paint choices, so keep an eye on that. Uh, if you go watch some other videos after this, you're, you're going to see what I'm talking about, where we say don't use paint and primer in one paint. It will ruin the product. Uh, so, like I said, that's just half true. So, today's May 6, 2020. Um, thanks again for watching all these videos. I know they're boring, and but I, you know we just want you to have a, a solid application and, and have something you absolutely love out there. So... Um, thanks for watching again. You can call us anytime. EncoreCoatings.com, E N C O R E, coatings, plural, dot com. And the hotline number is 888 776 2242. Again, 888 776 2242. Call us anytime. We're happy to help you. My name is Jeff. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. Hope you're taking care of yourselves out there. Call us anytime. See you. Bye.